Hello everyone, today I'm going to run you through a tutorial on how to convert image files such as bitmaps and JPEGs into vector images using this program here called Vector Magic. You can Google the name Vector Magic and figure out where you can download it from. It's fairly inexpensive and I des definitely recommend it. So once you load up the program, it's going to bring you to its home page. looks like this. And now you can load an image. So you can import from a folder you already have. So that would be like pictures and so on, or if you saved the image into a folder. I, I'm going to go about using this here, paste from clipboard. So I'm going to find an image I want, and I found this nice picture of a dog. So I'm going to copy the image and then go back into my program here, and I've got it in my clipboard. So now I'm going to post it into the program, and there we have it. So this image is a bitmap, so if I zoom in, you can see the pixels and they don't look that nice. So I'm going to zoom back out and we're going to convert this into a vector. So using vector magic, there are two ways about conversion. So we are going to show you the manual way, but there's also this fully automatic way. You can click on this and the program will go about conversion all on its own, so it will choose the settings that it, would, that it thinks are right, but sometimes it brings in double lines, and depending on what you want to use it for, sometimes that doesn't work. So we're going to go about manually. Hit next. Now it's going to classify your image, and it's going to ask you the image type. So was it a photograph, or is it an artwork? This image here is artwork and it has blended edges. So if you zoom in, you can see the edges are blended. So we're going to hit that one. Now it's going to ask you for the input quality. So that's the quality of the image itself. So once again, if we zoom in, whichever it resem whichever picture it resembles mostly. So we're going to look at it and it resembles the high one. So we're going to hit that one. Now it's going to ask you for the colors. So this image here is two color, so there's the setting we'd like. You can also customize the color, so if you click on that, it will analyze the colors. And then now we can choose if there's different shadings and so on. This one, like I said before, two color, so we're going to click on that one. Now it's going to segment the image and see the results. That's when it's converting it into a vector image on its own using mathematical equations. So there we have it we have a nice vector image so now we're into the reviewing stage where we can zoom in and look at the lines themselves here and we see that we have nice smooth flowing lines so that's what we're looking for in a vector now we can hit next and now it's going to ask you to export your image so i'm going to save it by hitting this save as like that now I'm going to choose where I'd like to save it. I'm going to save it into my pictures. I'm going to name it Clipboard Dog. There we have it. So I'm also going to choose my file type. So you can save it as an AI or any one of these here. But I want to keep it as an AI. So I'm going to hit save. And there we have it. We have it saved. So now you can exit or minimize. I'm going to minimize. And now I'm going to go into my libraries just to double check to see if it's saved. And there we have it, clipboard dog, like so. So that is a tutorial on how to use a program called Vector Magic. Hopefully this helps. Have a good day. Have a good day.